third chapter, verse 15. Wallace said to David, If you hear his voice, harden not your heart as in a provocation. For some, when they heard, did they provoke him? Howbeit, not all that said that came out of Egypt by Moses, but with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that have sinned? Who carcass fell in the wilderness, and to whom swear he that he shall not enter into rest, but to them that believe not. So we see that could not so we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Where would you spend eternity? Glory to God, where would you spend eternity? Now this subject, hey, glory to God, is very in, important subject because we all gonna die. Yes, we all gonna die. We're not gonna live upon earth forever. We're living for dying and dying for living. So which one, what is your choice today? I gonna spend eternity, hey, glory to in a place with Christ or to be this to be des destroyed that's your question my friend your, your question to your answer is where would you spend eternity yes where my friend don't think that earth is our final destination earth is not our final destination live a life that you want to live again my friend the Bible said I wipe all tears from your eyes so a person that live in to live again is a person that in the presence of God glory to God 24-7 my friend don't spend your life in doubt don't spend your life in disbelief don't spend your life as you're gonna live glory to God and that's it on earth live a life my friend that you want to be in the presence of the Lord because the Bible said the presence of the Lord is the full of joy at thy right hand they are pleasure forevermore so we're living a life to live again. Hey, glory. That's part two of my message, my friend. We're living to live again. And people that listen to this video right now, this audio right now, I'm telling you, live a life where you can live again. My friend, tomorrow is not promised. When I say tomorrow is not promised, tomorrow tomorrow no it's not promise my friend it's today don't live your life for tomorrow but live your life for today this might be your last day your last second your last minute your last hour live your life as you want to live today because don't let the devil trick you my friend the devil say you got tomorrow you don't have tomorrow Hey, glory to God. The Bible says, boast not for tomorrow. In Proverbs 27, verse 1. Hey, glory to God. Boast not for tomorrow. Because we know not what tomorrow may bring. The Bible says, today you hear his voice. Harden not your heart. Oh, glory to God. And some people right now, on the sound of my voice, I want you to hear God's voice. God's voice is his word. Don't get it twisted or confused. God's voice is his word. And if you're not hearing God's voice, you are confused because you think God going to speak to you from the sky. You think God going to come to you as a spirit and say, get saved. No, my friend, God use my voice to tell you. Because the Bible says, how can you hear what I'm preaching? And how can he preach except God sent him? So I'm telling you, my friend, live the life to be saved today. Because tomorrow is not promised. When I say tomorrow is not promised, boast not for tomorrow. That's my message. Boast not for tomorrow. It's time for you to be saved right now. My friend, be saved today. Today, today is the day of salvation. The Bible says, my friend, harden not your heart. What is a hard heart? A hard heart is a person that put away salvation. 
A hard heart is a person that say that, go to God, I'm not ready. I'm not ready today, my friend. It's like the man, Jesus Christ told, go to God. The man come. He said, I must go and bury my father. He go to God. But the Bible says, if a man put his hand to the plow, he's not fit for the kingdom. I'm telling you today, my friend, boast not for tomorrow. Listen to the Bible say. The Bible say, my friend, while it say today, if you hear his voice, today don't worry about tomorrow tomorrow my glory might not come glory to god but today is the day day of salvation and all of y'all glory to god listen to my voice you say i got so much to do today so today is not the day but the bible say today you will hear his voice harden not your heart you have a hard heart. A hard heart is a stony heart. A hard heart is a heart that put away and put off. You say, Lord, come into my life and save me. You get baptized. You get baptized of the water and get baptized of the spirit. We forget about Nicodemus' experience. Nicodemus came to Jesus Christ by night and said, Rabbi, we know that thou teaching come from God. Can no man can do this miracle that thou doest except God be with him. And Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again to see the kingdom of God. But Nicodemus said, how can a man be born when he's old shall he enter the second time his mother womb and be born Jesus Christ say no Nicodemus you must be born of the water and the spirit to see the kingdom of God marvel not that said to you you must be born again the, the Bible says the, the, the wind blows where listen thou hear the sound thereof but can't tell whence it's coming and, and whether it goes so is everyone that is born of the spirit I'm telling you my friend you must be